Hi, it's Joy, and today I'm going to be watching the Umbrella Academy Season 1, Episode 2, Run Boy Run, and I'm assuming the boy in this question is five, <laughs> number five. Um, I love the first episode so much, I'm very excited to see where it's going to go next, hopefully we're going to get some more answers and just get to know more about the characters in this world that they're inhabiting, that is very similar to what ours, but obviously has women giving birth in a day and a lot of crazy stuff. If, just a quick reminder that if you're watching on YouTube, you can see the unedited version Patreon on Patreon. Patreon gets the unedited versions two weeks early and the edited version one week early. So it's up to episode four or on Patreon edited, unedited even, if I can do my maths, and up to episode three edited up on Patreon right now. And you can also vote in future polls for shows like The Umbrella Academy to help me decide what I react to. So yes, without further ado, let's go. These poor children, they deserve so much better. I guess, yeah, it wasn't really like, it was more like being at a school, so maybe then having a romantic attachment isn't weird. Or as weird. See? A special jump he tried too much too soon. The effects it might have on your body, even on your mind, are far too unpredictable. Now, I forbid you to talk about this anymore. <sighs> Forbidding him really is not going to do much. Oh, is this what happened? I was expecting this song. Oh, it was actually that day at dinner, he just ran off and did it with no preparation. Children. Yep. Oh, gosh. Oh. Child, you weren't ready. We adapted. Whatever the world threw at us, we found a way to work. Who's we? You think I'm crazy. No, this, it's <laughs> just a lot to take in. Exactly. Do you think his brain got scrambled? Why didn't you just still look like a kid? He looked old when he was about to come through. Just to leave the light on for him and leave him a snack. And what are these that she's taken? Of course. Uh, what else would he have? Does the concept of being a fully grown adult, even like a sort of older man, being stuck in a child's body. No, thank you. You know what? ID, no room. You didn't ask for any ID, did you? I'm guessing those people either have something to do with the murder of their father or their tracking vibe and they're from the future and that's why they're weird. It's the kids' protocol. We gotta have it with us at all times. <laughs> a rule written by they can shove their protocol. Time travel machine, I guess, then, right? Oh, so five worked for them he joined some kind of he did whatever it took to survive and the guy and, and his kid <laughs> the guy had a dog they drove away they so she doesn't know it was the kid i heard shot told the other detective everything <laughs> what other detective yeah pff, the time traveling detective by the sounds of things Shit. or diego <laughs> Lord, you test me. <laughs> there they are I guess does doing drugs and drinking alcohol help Dollar? Shut your pie hole, Ben. Said with love. <laughs> what was that? Like his super important journal? No. <laughs> Very convincing. Yeah. Wanna return it to its right form. But I have to return it. What about the young man? <laughs> yeah, look up the name for me, will you? Uh Remember the victim who got stabbed in the grotto, Dodger? Oh, yes. One of the guys stabbed the other. What's the problem? Fingerprints on the knife don't match any of our guys. Ooh, five. It did match an unsolved call. 1938. What? what? To run it again. 1938? Has he been back to the past? But why would you put that badge down for one day? <sighs> and when you got yourself thrown out of the police academy, so Ooh. you this Okay, good backstory. Is what gets recesses over. It's grown up time. Ouch. You're still trying to prove that when you were kids running around in those stupid uniforms that it wasn't for nothing. Yeah. Blow blow where it hurts. He's the one most desperately. Oh that's a cool shot. Clinging on to their past. Maybe it wasn't real after all. It felt real. Like you said. You know something was real. I think I'm just gonna get some rest. No, he's not. Been a long time since I've had a good sleep. They're coping very well with him coming back into their lives. 
Oh god. Was Diego gonna attract him down rather than the police? Oh my god. Did you not bother to do this research first? He said something about coming there when he was young. Yeah. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Italian for dinner. Talk about the kids. Oh god, they're gonna murder this man. What on earth did Five get involved in? Are you okay? No. Very much not so. Yeah. I mean, you separate yourself from everyone and everything you always have. Why do you think that is? Think about how you were raised. Dad, maybe. Did... You tried to be a good sibling. Why I mean, after being a not so great one with the book. Any... How did he get that swollen lip then? <laughs> he doesn't have a swollen lip. <laughs> Witnesses in this place. It hasn't even been manufactured yet. Where did you get that? Oh, this is not good. I was pretty good though, right? You were brilliant. <laughs> to lighten up, old man. I mean, I like you if you call him old man. Hey, you know. I'm tired of looking for a place to sleep. <laughs> yeah. He did make the most fantastic. Awesome You're alone. I wonder if she does have a power and it's to do with the violin. Everyone knows him and loves him, it seems. Apart from his family and Detective Patch. Yeah, well, I shouldn't have to prove my innocence to you. Or anyone else in this family? Just no. Can they all just stop wandering, please? It's not that kind of show, but I don't care. I know why I'm here. He passed away. <laughs> she gonna bond with this man? I'm sorry. Oh no, it's fine. We had a complicated relationship. Yeah, I don't trust this guy. You know? But he you know, check it out. This week, um, <laughs> fine. I understand. <laughs> One grows used to things, even if sometimes one shouldn't. It's the wise chimpanzee. Come with me. Most families have home movies. Yeah, back on. this is very creepy. We have. Why didn't we include her? I mean, if anybody yeah. ever treated Claire like that, I. What's she gonna find? Surely she's gonna find something significant here. Can we see? Dad. Please don't tell me this is Dolores. Dolores. No. Does it just look like someone that was real? Oh god. I mean, he's very good at take finding what he needs. Ooh. Come on. Can he not do it too much at once? They are bad shots, and we are lucky. He didn't at all, he's ducked down hiding. You need to talk to your siblings, your younger or older siblings. She's dead. I'm sorry. <laughs> Is she gonna think Diego did this? Oh, you're tracking your brother! Not that you have any way of knowing that. Well, just tell him what you found. 
So I thought he stopped recording. Was he recording that night? Did he know he was going to die? So he recorded intentionally? Tell them. Oh god. He could help you if he knows it's gonna happen. Does he recognize that as his brother? Did he find all of their bodies? Or was that Dolores behind him? So they were all in the house when it happened. Yeah. We didn't see Vanya's body though, right? So could her powers be igniting and that be what causes whatever happens? That was another really good episode. Um, I think I preferred the first episode because it was kind of... I feel like we got more information because it was the first one, but this one... I definitely found intriguing still. I'm still really enjoying this show and I just really want to get more underneath the characters. Um, we've had a few different team-ups already. Um, I think hopefully... I still don't know what... Um, Alison saw, I'm guessing that if the dad stopped recording years ago, if he knew he was likely to be murdered or knew something was going to happen to him, maybe he recorded or maybe he recorded a tape specifically saying, my children, I am going to be murdered. <laughs> I don't know. We'll find out in hopefully the next one because that's what they were going off to see. But if she, the fact that she's appealing to Luther, they have their strange relationship, but that's two of them working together. Um, Vanya knows about Five's knowledge that the world's going to end. She doesn't currently believe him, but if they could just come together and work on this, if they're all just doing their own thing. I mean, you've got Diego who's running around after Five, coming across all of the different crime scenes and getting in the way of the police, but coming across all the crime scenes that Five is leaving in his wake. And then you've got Klaus who just wants to get high, but I mean, I feel like if he constantly has nightmares and sees the dead, and it's no wonder he's quite messed up in that way. Um, there's just so much going on and I really hope it's going to be one of those shows where they're all over the place but ultimately they kind of come together and the fact that all of their bodies more or less were there does suggest that maybe they are all going to come together and fail <laughs> but now it'll be different because they've got five with them I mean maybe he was there all along it looked as though just the top half of Dolores was in the house when it exploded whatever happened happened and he's just brought that home so maybe he's just for self-fulfilling prophecy. But he didn't appear to come across Vanya's body. He came across all of the others that we know are still alive. He wouldn't have known Ben to be dead at that point. Um, but we've come across kind of, she wasn't there. Now is that because she just literally wasn't there and um, because they left her out in the cold? Or is that because she caused it? Like she had a power inside of her that's been building up for all these years, I don't know. Definitely as well, I think, it's just so fascinating to look, think about what their lives would have been like um, growing up in what was more of like a boarding school than a family, more of a strict academy than a loving bunch of siblings. So there's some of them form more friendships than others, got closer than others, which makes sense. It's what always happens. Kids are not all the same. Um, and definitely the way the dad was, he was like, these are my six special, brilliant Umbrella Academy children. And while to us, we can see that he was abusive to them, you know, forcing kids to get tattoos that hurt them, training them, treating them like soldiers, etc., is abuse. So is what he did to Vanya, um, isolating her from the others, you know, not special like they are, sort of neglect in that sense and just putting them over her is a different form of abuse. And then you can see that, as children at least, the special ones saw that, I guess, as kind of we're special, she's not, especially numbers one and number two, I imagine, because they were number one and number two. Um, and then it seems as though she was a bit closer with five, and with Ben and people, but that doesn't mean that they always included her in things, and I think the dad worked to isolate them, and then she saw it as well, I was never as good as them, etc. So they're all kind of taking a lot of baggage, both from how they were raised and how they were raised in comparison with each other. And it's interesting that the one that is the most loyal to their father is... Um, Luther and he was number one he was the golden boy um, and yeah I think it's interesting just to kind of get more information than dynamics and how it's playing into it and I think that played a huge part in Vanya choosing to write a tell write a book in which she spilled not only her father's secrets but the sibling secrets without their permission or consulting them um, because I guess she kind of she'd always felt like she was on the outside and they left her out and she wasn't as good as them but she could show them she could write the book I guess was kind of some of um her thought process there and when they already were feeling different and isolated from her you can also see why in her own life she just builds barriers up she doesn't know how to connect to people particularly well because she always was isolated and then the person she was seemingly closest to five um vanished so she didn't even have like the brother she was closest to and if ben was another one she was close to he died you know you can definitely see why these characters are the way they are 
um, the threads forming. But what I'm really hoping is we're going to get to watch them actually becoming a family. Like, screw their dad, they can all become a family. Um, and we definitely saw, I think, Alison realising that she was horrible to Vanya, um, and they don't know each other. And yeah, some of that is on Vanya, like, you can't just excuse that at all, but it's also on their dad and how they were raised. Um, they all need to kind of take stock with that. And so while she said, you know, yeah, dad's dead, um, you're an adult, it's on you, it's on Alison as well. And I think hopefully that maybe she'll reach out to Vanya at some point and we can just, I want them all to be friends. You know me, I love relationships and shows, platonic um, especially. Five, finding out more about him, seeing kind of how he was jumping through time and then he ended up stuck there. That would just be horrific and terrifying, especially for a 13 year old kid, even a precocious one. I mean, he was raised as just as abusively as the rest of them um, and then being a child alone. Now for a minute there, because it seems as though he joined some kind of time travelling agency at some point. Maybe it's a time travelling agency where they decide that they're going to keep the timelines intact and so him coming back to try and save the world is something they don't want of some kind because yeah, so I actually thought that maybe he had had a wife or a girlfriend called Dolores, but it was a mannequin. I don't, I don't want to think about that too much. So I'm still intrigued about what exactly was going on with Five. These people seem to have a time-traveling briefcase thing rather than just being like Five who's able to do it himself. Um, maybe how he got back was sort of to do with knowledge he'd got from there. There's still a lot of information basically to learn and why are they tracking him down? Is it because he is seeking to change the course of history and save planet Earth rather than leaving it be um to die that's kind of what i'm thinking at the moment but you know who knows um exactly what he got up to so we kind of see more of their lives that vanya teaches music i imagine she got some money for the book um but obviously not enough to like buy a giant penthouse or anything um and yeah i just want them to bond so seeing those sort of surveillance cameras is another sign of how messed up their childhood was but in some ways it's nice to have videos to look back on if you just don't think about where they came from but I need to know what she saw. They're all still so broken. I mean Klaus was very funny, he's very good at improvising um, to get away with things or to do things but they're, they're, it's just, they're all just so broken in so many different ways and I really think if they were to find a way to come together to work together it would really help them all heal um, and have someone to lean on who was always there for them. Alison's ex sounds horrific. Um, you know, even just for the child's sake, she deserves her mother. And unless Alison was secretly abusive that we know nothing about, that child is going to be better off having a mother in her life than she is without. But I'm just mostly excited to see the different mysteries, what happened to the dad, what happened to the end of the world. Are those two things linked? Why was Five so convinced that the eye was linked to the end of the world? I mean, why was Luther holding the eye? There's a lot of information there that we don't have that some of it Five has, some of it he doesn't, I imagine, but I just need, like, you know, this was a whole episode where, like, we didn't get any answers and, you know, he needs to start telling everyone everything. I feel like if we could call the whole family together and have a talk about everything, that would be good, but it's also not a family that I know would actually come together in that way. Um, we didn't see any of the robot mum. I'm stressed about that. Maybe she was somehow used to kill, like, reprogrammed or hijacked or hacked or something. I still love Pogo, I don't entirely know why we have a sentient monkey that talks, but I love it. So yeah, this was another really, really good episode. Um, I still feel like we're barely scratching the surface of the potential this show and these characters have, and I'm so excited to delve further into it. A quick reminder that if you are watching this on YouTube, you can see the unedited version up on Patreon as well, and you can get the next two weeks. Patreon gets the unedited versions two weeks ahead of YouTube, and you can also see the edited version one week early. So yeah, a huge thank you so much for watching. I'm so excited to keep delving into this show.